Hello there, I'm Kelly, and this is my channel, Incredible Anyway, where I talk about how to live an incredible life no matter what your circumstances are. In this video, I show you how my house was built to be accessible and meet my needs. My bathrooms. I do have this little rug here, of course, that can be out of the way if I were in a wheelchair. We've got the light switch here and a couple of hooks here. I really like this door because it is big and swings out of the way. So when I was planning this bathroom, I wasn't really thinking about the square footage and I really wish that I had made this a lot bigger because if I needed help with transferring and was in a transfer chair, it would have been nicer to have a lot more space for the caregiver, but by the time I figured out how small it was, I really wasn't able to uh, change it. So you can see the tiling goes all the way up to the ceiling, which I think is really helpful in keeping it clean. And we've got a flat tile floor on the ground here. So these two things, this is to change the water, it's turning it on, but of course turning it hot and cold. And this specifically, as you can see the water dripping down, this specifically changes the water from flowing up through the faucet to through flowing through to the shower head. And this is really nice to have for when I am not safe to stand up with my vertigo. You can see that I have a big bench here that is built in and it can be pushed up and out of the way. So if I needed to be in a transfer chair where I was in a chair built for a shower and somebody had to help me and as I was in a shower chair, it could actually be brought in. But usually because I don't do that, I have this down and it's nice because I can actually scoot right here and have my wheelchair right here and transfer into it without having to move very far at all. So I had a big, long bar handle here so that I can be holding on when I'm sitting down. I can also be holding on when I'm standing up. And it's really nice because sometimes when I'm sitting down, I'm really disoriented and don't know where I am in space. So this is a really, really helpful thing. I got it in white, which I'm really glad I did to kind of blend in when you're looking at it. Uh, so again, with the shower handle this is nice because it's removable and easy you know it can be used if a caregiver is uh, using it or it can be used by me if I'm sitting there this attachment on the wall here is just a suction cup so it can be removed but I have it there because it's easily accessible when I'm sitting down so the next thing you can see that's kind of blending in is another big bar now these things actually the builder and i really took a long time to figure out where we wanted to place all of the handicap accessible bars he didn't have a lot of experience in this so it was really trial and error of me sitting here and seeing what helps and again i really like having something that i can sit on to sit and hold on to i'll show you so while i'm sitting here it's really nice to be able to grab onto here or to grab onto here while I'm washing myself, and then I can grab on and I can use it to help me stand up. So it's really, really nice to always have something on either side of me, especially when I am sitting down. So the next part, I really like to have these stuff set into the wall. You know, I think some people who might not be <laughs> disabled might put it actually on here, uh, but that's not going to help me if I actually need to use this. So I have all of my products in the inset of the wall. So this next bar that I have on the wall, I really like it. I can't remember if the builder found it or I did but I like it for multiple reasons. I like it because if I'm just standing here, I can be holding on to it. It's kind of at my waist height, so there's something for me to hold on to while I'm standing in front of the shower. So this 
is a bar that moves. And the way that it moves is it lifts up and it turns. And you can see actually here is where it will lock into place. I'll show you the first position. So this is about a 45 degree angle from the wall. I like it. It's kind of something that I have it in this position. Let's say I am, you know, facing the shower this way. I like it because I can actually turn around and be holding on to it and have my back to the shower head, but have something to hold on to. So it's kind of a real stabilizing force. Then the next position it moves out to is a 90 degree angle from the wall. So you can see even more so that this is a great stabilizing force, especially when I am facing the shower head. So, and then in the home position is there. And it's really sturdy. Yes, it, it rocks back and forth kind of minimally, but it does, which is, you know, kind of good to know. And I like that, you know, there is a vertical bar here. That's something that was always important to me. We worked really a lot about what would be the best height for this. And now we had thought about like, maybe we could put this bar more at my waistline. I really like it here. I think probably if I were to change it, I probably would have moved it down a little bit. But that's just me being really, really picky because I actually really love it. So that is my accessible shower. And I am so, so thankful for it. For many people who have vertigo, balance, and just disability, having this little thing you have to step up over with a tub can be really dangerous. And not having to deal with that anymore is such something I'm so, so thankful for. So oftentimes I will hang the towel up over this so that it's out of the way. So if I were gonna go into the shower here, driving with my elbow right now. <laughs> um, but you can see, I probably would, if I were doing this a lot, I probably would use a manual chair so I could push it out of the way after I go into it. Um, that way I could train Benny to tug it out of the way. I would definitely, Benny knows how to shut doors. I would definitely have him push this shut for me. Um, but you can see, I can get right up here next to the door. Sorry, I forgot to turn the light on. It's on the other side there. Um, but I can scooch myself forward and stand up holding this. Turn this way and then grab with my hand and sit. And then if I had a manual chair, which is what I would do. I would just then push it away or have Benny tug it away, which he knows how to do with a rolling walker. And then to get back in, again, I'm gonna switch hands. It's hard with filming. And then sit and load back. So I can, I'll show you how I have, I'll have Benny shut the door. Benny, come here. Push, that's it, push, push, push. He can't see through it. Push, 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 that's it, that's it. Yes, push. He's never done it. Good job, push. Push, 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 push. Yes, good job. So I'd have him do that. That's the first time he's ever pushed on a clear door. And then I have a soaking tub here. And the soaking tub does have a removable handle, you can see. And I'll turn it on here in a second to show you. 
Um, but I really love this. It's a freestanding tub for a person with balance problems and disability. This is not necessarily easily accessible. So if my balance is pretty good, I have this so that this is built into the wall. So things like this, these grab bars, obviously there are towel bars that can look like this, but this is actually mounted into studs in the wall. It's really important when mounting these things to make sure they're mounted into studs. Otherwise, they can easily pull off the wall and be very, very dangerous. If you guys ever watched the videos that I had in my house in Illinois, I had this big pole that went from the ceiling to the floor. And it had something similar to that handle right there that was sticking out of it and can be articulated different ways. locks into place. I have vertigo right now and I feel very safe with this. Now that was something that I actually still have and had considered having for this tub. Thus far this has been okay but I can tell you if my balance were worse more percentage of the time maybe I would. The reality is is that I'm not going to use the tub when my vertigo is bad. I'm going to use my accessible shower. So really the handlebar on the wall is really what is enough. This has a hot and cold and I really really like this faucet it's kind of like a waterfall faucet and how I change it to the handheld is to switch it upside down and then I'm going to take it out of the holder so that we don't actually spray anyone but you can see it's a little bit different but I like it I like this the squareness of it so I'm really, really thankful to have an accessible bathroom. If you guys have any questions about my bathroom, about any of the parts of it that make it accessible, if I didn't talk about something that you're curious about, please let me know and I will answer them in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching. I am Kelly. You are not alone. And go find your incredible anyway. I'm just having a good time. Having a bad day, yeah